What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing a little review, and a little review on something that I think is really important, and uh, that's helmets. That's right, I've got the G-Force Mid-Air Helmet right here, and I've got the Bell Eliminator Helmet, which is, they're both entry-level helmets. They're nothing crazy in price, so if you're interested in either one of these helmets, stay tuned and we'll talk about just what I like and don't like about either one of these guys. All right, like I said, guys, we are here to talk about helmets, and helmets are a really, really important thing, um, not only for just your safety, but, I mean, it's, I think it's actually legal now, or illegal to not wear a helmet, and, I mean, why wouldn't you wear one? I mean, seriously, it you never know whether you're like, oh, I'm just going to go right here really fast, or I'm going to go right there really fast. That's when accidents happen. I mean, the last time I tipped over our razor, I we were literally going, like, two miles an hour, and... I was just coming into a turn really fast, not even, not even fast, like just coming into a turn and a rock was in the wrong spot and it dumped us over. Um, and something like that, I mean, a ground could be right there or another rock could be right there and it can come right inside, hit your head. And I mean, I'm, I'm always <laughs> uh, um, a person who promotes safety. Uh, I, I, I've done plenty of dumb things in my life, <laughs> I'm not going to lie. And uh, I think that having something like a helmet on, even when you're doing something dumb or small or whatever it is, is really important. And uh, today we're going to be talking about a couple helmets. Uh, we got, this is a Bell Eliminator helmet. This is your basically entry level helmet from Bell. Um, it is really comfortable and nice. I really like it. And we also have... This is actually my helmet. This is a helmet by G-Force. It is their mid-air helmet versus the top air you'll see from uh, Bell. Um, I like the mid-air because it's just more comfortable as far as you don't have to worry about a hose hanging off the top. And I'm kind of a tall guy, so hitting a cage or whatever is up there would be kind of annoying after a while. Um, so I went with the mid-air helmet. That's the only reason why I went with this helmet. Um, they're both about the same price. They're both about $200. And, um, I, I don't even know. I mean, I bought this helmet because I got kind of a good deal on it. Um, I'm not going to tell you where or who gave it to me, but I'm sure if you've read this, you probably know why. Or watching this, not reading this. Um, so I went with this helmet, and they both, I'll tell you, they both came with dust skirts. And that is a huge thing. I really, really like it. Um, having dust skirts is nice. Um, I'm going to say that the Bell Dust Skirt is going to be a little bit better than the G-Force one. The G-Force one is good. I usually roll around, honestly, and you'll probably see me in a lot of videos, is I roll around like this. <laughs> if it's hot outside and I'm wearing this helmet and, you know, this is prior to actually having uh, onboard air from Rugged Radios inside the car, um, I would roll around with that so that way, you know, when I'm wearing... Glasses, because I wear glasses, um, it fogs up inside there so you get some air ventilation in there. Um, so they both come with, with helmet skirts and they're both, both can easily be removed. They really have like just some Velcro on them, just like this. Let's take off. So that's, that comes off just like that, just like the Bell does. The Bell does the exact same thing. It's actually a little bit nicer of a dust skirt, like I said, and it's a little bit longer too. Um, both these helmets are fitted with Rugged Radio's intercoms. And so I'm gonna tell you what I like and don't like about either one of these. Okay, well, let's start off with the Bell. The Bell helmet is, I mean, Bell has been around for decades. They've been around for so long. They make motorcycle helmets, I mean, street racing helmets, um, off-road helmets like this. Um, they make you know a wide variety of helmets, and I can't say anything better about Bell or worse or whatever it is you want to say. Bell's been around; they know their stuff. And with that being said, I'll tell you, I put on the Bell helmet, my size, and I instantly was like, "Wow, this helmet feels so good." <laughs> Versus, I, I tried other helmets, and it just didn't feel very good, and it was hard to kind of like get a proper size and honestly I think Bell helmets are honestly true to size. Um, they have really good padding on the inside. All Both of these have their cheeks uh, can be removed so you can wash them because uh, they do get dusty and dirty and sweaty and all that stuff. So uh, you can both remove those things. Um, one thing I do like about the, the cheek pad on this one is it actually has a little pocket inside 
for your intercoms. Um, so it has the cheek pad, and in the cheek pad, it has like a little pocket where you literally speak your, uh, stick your uh, earbud in there, and it works out amazing. Um, so that's one thing that's really cool about the Bell Eliminator helmet. Um, comfortability is great. The the way it ventilates inside the helmet is also great. Um, it has some little ports back here too for some more ventilation. Um, I mean, it has also has some more stuff right up here in the front. You can open and close it if you want. Um, that allows, so if you want to have your visor closed and you want just a little bit of ventilation in there, but not a lot, you literally just open it and close that right there. And I don't know if you can see that, but it opens, closes. Super cool. Um, like I said, they've been around for a long time. And what's really cool about the dust skirt on this guy is it has obviously a little zipper. So when you want to put your helmet on or you want to you just unzip it and it's easier to put on. Um, whenever you put these things on, you usually just put them up anyways and then stick them on your head, but it makes it a lot easier not fighting the dust skirt. Like I said, this one's a little bit better. It's a little bit thicker, nicer material than the G-Force. But the only thing that I... Uh, so another thing that I, I, I do like, before I go into the things I don't like, um, one thing I do like um, over the G-Force is it does have a little knob right here on the helmet that you can literally just pick up and open. But you can literally do that from anywhere. I can go on the side and pick it up. Oops, don't mind that. <laughs> it doesn't usually happen. Of course it's doing it because I'm making a video, but... Um, Every helmet's gonna do something like that. That's one thing that's good. This does not need a tool to take off. You wanna change visors and things like that, it literally just pops into place and but it's quick and easy. Um, the G-Force one does not. You have to literally have like a tool that comes off, which is good so it doesn't come off just like how I did right there, but I'm gonna say that uh, it wasn't me that put this visor on last time, so. Um, this is not my helmet. This is actually Taryn's helmet, and uh, she says she loves it. She likes it. I think it's a little bit lighter weight um, versus the G-Force, um, which is really cool. I mean, other, I think I can't see anything but good things about this helmet other than, you know, it being the top air. But even the top air, it's not really up on top. It's kind of like sloped backwards. I don't know if you noticed that, but it slopes backwards on, on there. So that's really cool. I like that, but you have to have your air kind of mounted a certain way. Um, other than that, I think this helmet is a really good purchase and really good um, value for what it is. Like I said, it's about $200 for this helmet, and I think it's a great, great entry-level helmet. I mean, it's not SFI rated, SFI rated. It is DOT approved, so that is one thing you need to look for when you're buying a helmet is make sure it has that DOT sticker on there because they will ding you if they see you without a helmet that's a DOT on it. So... That's if the cop, ranger, or whatever it is, um, wants to be a jerk. They totally can ding you for that, but I don't really think they really care. But, um, yeah. I mean, it has vents all over the place. And I really like that. That's awesome. So, I'm going to move on to the G-Force and tell you what I like and dislike about that one. Okay. Well, this, my hand, is the Helmet by G-Force. It is their mid-air helmet. Sorry, these helmets are a little dirty. We just got back from a trip, and um, I wanted to do this video, and I mean, obviously, these helmets do get used. So, uh, this is not something that I'm doing. I'm just, I didn't buy them off the shelf and then come and show you and then return them and do whatever it is. This is the actual review because I actually wear both these helmets. Well, I wear this one. She wears that one, but I've used that one anyways. <clears throat> so... With that being said, um, this is the G-Force helmet. Um, it is a overall decent helmet. Like I said, it is both price point helmets. They're going to be about $200 minus the Rugged Radio, stuff like that. Um, you cannot buy these from Rugged Radios or anything like that. You could buy the Bell Eliminator with already pre-wired and stuff like that. That is awesome. Uh, you cannot buy the G-Force there. The G-Force is found online. Um, where I found it. Um, it doesn't come with a this nice cool you know silver lens. Um, that's something that I added on afterwards so you'll get a clear lens with it. Um, what I like about this helmet is um, well it's a helmet. I can't say too many good things about this helmet honestly. Um, after 
I bought this helmet and I, I needed a helmet in a pinch. Uh, we were going out and I needed a helmet. It, you know, it's just one of those things where, okay, I found a good deal on it. I'm going to try it. Let's see what works. Um, and unlike the Bell, the Bell helmet already came with the dust grid on it and the Velcro was on it. This one did not. This one came just plain Jane, nothing to it. And I had to add the Velcro, Velcro on myself. Is it ideal or the best way to do it? Probably not. Um, this helmet versus the bell, if you notice on the bell that I showed you, has tons of ventilation. So if you want to roll with your helmet, your visor closed, there is no, no vent right here in the front that you can, you can adjust. There is no vents back here or here or anywhere else. This helmet is just like, it's either on or it's off and that's about it, you know? Um, I bought this helmet mainly because I wanted the mid-air, you know, port. And that's kind of what I wanted. I wanted because I didn't know. I bought this prior to building this cage. And I wasn't sure how tall or how much space I'm going to have with the top air. So I went with the easy way out. And it's going to be either mid-air or like the chin air. Um, if that's even the right term, I don't know. <laughs> but so with that being said, there's a lot of cons with this helmet. Um, not so much good and a lot more cons. Um, and that's, that's, this is my opinion. Um, I wore this helmet. My instant reaction when I bought, uh, put the, pulled this helmet out of the box, I was like, mm. I mean, I needed it. So I used it. I can't return it now, but I wasn't too happy um, at all. <laughs> One, it is heavy. Two, no ventilation. Three, um, like I was showing you on the visor on the bell helmet, if I wanted to pull up the visor right here, I can't. I have to literally only use this guy right here. And that's a little, it's a little tab. And I, I can pull it, push it down wherever I want, but I, I really, I, I literally can't pull it up unless, unless I pull it from right here and it pulls up. That to me is kind of dumb. Not a very good design uh, because if you're in a pinch and you want to lift up your visor, you can't. If I am in a pinch with the bell and I want to go like this, it lifts up. Boom. I want to be able to see really fast if I'm wearing a dark lens, it lifts up. I don't have to search for this tiny little tab on there. So, um, this helmet, yes, it is DOT approved. I, I don't know how, uh, honestly. Um, because if you think, of, if you look at this helmet, like I said, they both have... <sighs> Sorry. I'm a little, I was a little frustrated when I purchased this helmet, so it's a little coming out a little bit. I'm, I'm kind of mad because I have to make, spend another two, three hundred dollars for another helmet that I, I wasn't even happy with to begin with. So um, if you notice on this helmet, which is something that I, I noticed instantly when I pulled it out of there, like look at the flex. This helmet literally flexes so much. If I get this bell helmet and I try to flex it, I mean, I push it pretty hard, I don't, and, it, and it barely, barely, barely moves. This thing, it literally, it feels like if I was to hit my face on something, that this would seriously just crush. And I don't know how safe that is. So I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I'm not excited about this helmet whatsoever. So if I'm gonna give it on a rating scale, I'm gonna give it. Uh, Probably a thumb and a half down <laughs> as being two thumbs up being the best and two thumbs down being the worst is a thumb and a half down um, like I said it really does suck having to only be able to use this the pads are extremely stiff versus if you put pull, put on that bell helmet when you first put it on uh, it's you put it on it's like whoa this, this feels I could wear this all day this thing I put it on I'm like ugh. when I put this thing on now I'm still like ugh. It's worn in, 
it's still kind of tight. It has broken in a little bit. I'll tell you that. It has broken in a little bit, and now I put it on and it, it fits, but uh, still not happy with it, honestly. I'm really not, and, that, and I don't have anything against GeForce. I'm not saying they're a bad company or anything like that. This is my honest review of both these helmets. So, um, and like I said, they, they both are wired with, with rugged radios. Um, this one I put in there too. It doesn't have the pocket like the Bell does. This one I had to put like a double-sided tape and put it in there and it works it works good I don't have any problem it doesn't come out or anything like that but um, it is what it is at this point like I said it comes with a clear lens there is no ventilation and it's not comfortable out of both these helmets if you're gonna spend 200 plus dollars do yourself a favor and just go with the bell uh, I, I'm, I'm, there might be other options out there from other companies. I don't. I don't really know. As far as I know, this is what I've honestly have the most experience with, and these two helmets are what we use. And I'm gonna say this Bell helmet definitely wins over this GeForce by by a lot. <laughs> so I hope this I hope this helps you out, guys. I mean, uh, like I said, I'm not. Um, I'm not sponsored by Bell. I'm not sponsored by GeForce. Uh, I'm not sponsored by anybody, honestly. So I'm here to make these videos for you guys, and I really hope that uh, it helps you guys in the future to maybe buy some products and maybe you're on the fence with either one of these products, or you thought maybe you know you're you want to make the purchase, but you're not sure which one to go to. So I'm hopefully this hopefully this this helps you guys like decide better and and make the good choice. And uh, my choice is going to be the Bell Illuminator helmet. So. You'll be really happy with it, I promise. Um, as always, guys, I really do appreciate you guys subscribing and watching these videos. Um, I really can't do it without you, and I really appreciate all the comments you guys have been leaving me. It's amazing to see all that stuff. So I really do appreciate it, guys. If you guys haven't already, please do consider subscribing. Hit that button right down there below. Find me on social media, Instagram, Facebook, all that stuff. Plenty more videos to come. We're building this uh, Pro XP race car right behind me. And uh, we're going to be doing a lot of reviews on products and things like that. So I hope this helps you guys. And uh, we'll see you on the next video.